Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's video. Um, today I'm going to discuss who I think should be the next James Bond. Um, obviously, we know that Daniel Craig is doing his last Bond film with No Time to Die, whatever that comes out. Due to COVID, we don't know. Um, I have three suggestions, and I'm going to discuss all three. And at the end, I'm going to reach an overall conclusion who I think should take the job. Uh, before we get into this, ladies and gentlemen, uh, please make sure to like, subscribe, and tell me what you think of the video down below. And also stay tuned for a special Halloween stream that's coming up soon. Now, without further ado, let's dive straight into this. So, the three choices I have, I will tell you them now. First one is Henry Cavill. The second one is Idris Elba. And finally, we have Tom Hardy. Now, let's start off with Henry Cavill here. Um, I chose him because he has the ability to thrive in a role like James Bond. Uh, one of his most, one of the most important things for me, for an actor who takes on James Bond, is can he take that character into the next generation, like the 21st century. Like Daniel Craig was technically the last 20th century James Bond. And we need someone who can really push James Bond into the 21st century. And do I think Henry Cavill could do that? Absolutely. Um, he could really make James Bond a relatable character in the years to come. No offence to Daniel Craig here, but... Um, Henry just has the ability to make him relatable in the 21st century. And really... I can't really explain it. But he can just make James Bond a iconic character again because I feel like he kind of lost his touch over the last couple of years, and that's just because there's been so many James Bonds that it kind of got a bit difficult to really enjoy the character that much. But I feel like Henry has the skill to make James Bond iconic again, uh, and that's probably the reason why I chose Henry as one of the nominees. Um, but Let's uh, move on to Idris, who I have a bit more to say about. So, next up, we have Idris Elba. So, Idris Elba for me, um, obviously we heard the rumours last year that he would become the next James Bond. Now, since all those rumours have died down, I think that his chances of James Bond haven't. Idris has... Idris Elba will be able to revolutionise James Bond for the black community and show no matter what colour skin you, you are, you can play whatever character you put your mind to. Of course Idris can take James into the next generation like Henry, a bit more so than Henry, but obviously Idris just has the ability to make any character just absolutely amazing honestly man um, I would just pip Henry below Idris but it's not to say that Henry would do a bad job I just feel like Idris would do a more a better job throughout the whole of the public not just a certain part I feel like Henry would like be for the whole public not just one part of it but that's why I've chose El uh, Idris Elba as one of the selections. Now, I'm going to move on to Tom Hardy, and this one is going to be a bit more difficult, but I think I'll explain it well. So, moving on to Tom Hardy. Um, obviously, at the start of October, late September, we all heard the rumours of Tom Hardy being the next person to play James Bond. And, honestly, when I heard that, I thought that is what I've been wanting to hear for a long time now. Because Tom, he deserves a big role like James Bond. Like all the amazing roles he's done, like in Dunkirk, in Inception, Venom, Dark Knight. Like he has a massive catalogue of films. But he hasn't got the big role yet. You could say Bane is, but that film kind of flopped. Venom did well. But personally, I feel like James Bond would be his best role yet. Now I hear people say that 
Tom Hardy's more suited to play a gangster villain type role. But to, to the people that say that, I can, all I can say to you is that you can't categorise someone to a certain role, otherwise they'll become more boring and repetitive. Like, let's say if you're a comedian, like, who can I use? Um, you know, I'll use Jim Carrey as an example. If Jim kept playing a comedic role in a similar role that he does for the rest of his life, he'll get repetitive, out of date, and just won't be as iconic as he is today. Now, if Tom followed that role as just being the gangster villain, it'll become too stereotypical, too obvious, too predictable, and boring. So, that's all I can re really say about people who say that. Um, honestly, I feel like Tom has the acting chops to absolutely smash this role out of the park. Um, I feel like Tom has the ability to um, pretty much take this character into the next generation. More so than Idris and uh, Henry because he's more relatable. Because he's like, I think he's from North England, correct me if I'm wrong, but he's more relatable, he's probably just a better person to play the role, because he can thrive no matter what, like, you see the variety that he's played, like the variety of roles that he's played, and you can really see that Tom can thrive in any role that he wants. And yes, I hear people say that his career is only as it is because he's friends with Leonardo DiCaprio, but I just disagree with you to a full extent there, because if his career really took off because of Leonardo, then why why hasn't he failed yet? Why, if he was really here just because of Leo, then why is he still getting roles like Venom and hopefully James Bond? It's not because of him, it's because he has the ability to smash every role out of the park and into someone's house. And obviously like I've mentioned for the other two, can he carry this character into the next generation? And I say, without a shadow of a doubt, he can. And in my opinion, I think he could make James Bond one of the more iconic characters in the next 20 to 30 years. Because he's already iconic. He's the most iconic British character we have. Maybe besides Harry Potter. But he will kick Harry Potter's ass when it comes to iconic if they choose Tom Hardy. And that's why I've got Tom Hardy in this selection. Now for my overall conclusion, and I'm going to explain who I think should be the next James Bond. So, uh, this is what you've all been waiting for. Um, if I just choose what to be the next James Bond, uh, God, I'm going to regret this, but I'm going to have to go with Tom Hardy. He's just, he's too good to turn down, man. Like, he has the ability, like I've said, to make this character just so goddamn good again. No offence to Henry, Idris or Daniel here, but Tom, I feel like James Bond needs, like for Henry and Idris, I feel like James Bond doesn't need them. More like they need James Bond. But for Tom Hardy, it's like James Bond needs Tom Hardy. If you know what I'm trying to say. But overall, I would choose Tom Hardy out of all these three characters. And I'm not going to change my mind on that. So, uh, thank you guys for watching today. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'll be back on Tuesday or Wednesday to discuss a certain topic that I won't giveaway just yet because I'm just starting to work on the video it's going to take a little while but it will be out for Tuesday um, obviously please make sure to like and subscribe 
Uh, tell me what you think of the video. Uh, just any feedback would be great for you all, from you all. Um, obviously, Halloween is next Saturday, so I'm going to do a special stream then. Uh, I haven't decided what on yet, but I, when it comes to it, I'll just play anything. Uh, I'm open to playing with you guys if you're on Xbox. Uh, just give me a game of tagging thing here, and then we can just hop on and play some games, have a good chat. But yeah, uh, that's all for today, guys. Um, I hope you all have a good day, or night, wherever you are in the world. This be your boy Shadow Hunter. Take care, and peace.